Hello, I am Leonard Somero, and I'm here to talk about my video game project, Very Softwares. In my 10 plus years of game making, I've released dozens of games. In fact, I've released 14 playable games in 2022 alone. The Very Softwares catalog has my games from about 2016 onwards. That's when the game started being seriously showcase worthy. Officially, Very Softwares launched on April 20th, 2017. But even before that, I had previous game making experience. So let's see how we got here. When I started out making games in high school, I had the same problem as everyone else. I struggled to finish projects due to lack of patience and know-how. I started off with C++ and SFML, and I think my very first attempt at a game was a shoot em up. I remember that I was such a beginner back then, I didn't even understand the concept of arrays yet. That's why the game allowed only 3 bullets at a time, variables bullet 1, bullet 2 and bullet 3. Yeah. Then I switched to Python and Pygame, because let's face it, C++ is not a beginner friendly language. With Pygame, I was quickly able to make such things as a random cave generator, cellular automata and a bare bones version of a platformer without jumping. Wait what, how does that last one work? Well, you would have to move springboards around and step on them. I didn't finish the game, so I'm not sure if the idea was even worthwhile. But once I discovered game jams, I found a way to finish games. I love game jams. I've lost count, but I must have participated in about 40 to 50 jams by now, both online and on site. A strict time limit really forces you to focus on one thing gameplay. Probably the first finished game of mine was Escape the Fate from Ludum Dare 21. This was 11 years ago. It was a game like Karoshi, where you have to kill yourself to progress. Yeah, that wouldn't fit the very software's brand nowadays, but it was a game and I made it. I continued with Python for a few years and then moved on to Flashpunk. Pygame had many issues, such as poor performance and the difficulty to package games for players. It was quite newbie friendly, but it felt like it was limited to just games made by newbies. Um, there were more of these than I remembered. Please wait warmly. Suddenly, with Flashpunk, I could simply make games playable in the browser. I really leveled up during this phase of my game dev career. I even expanded Flashpunk with my own library, Flashfunk, which had helpful functions for writing simultaneously running scripts for game entities. How many of these were there? Then I also had a brief period with JavaScript and made a single Unity game somewhere along the line. I didn't really feel like any of the engines available suited me perfectly. And then, in 2016, I found love. It's an awesome framework with an easy to understand API and powerful graphical tools. I still use it to this day. In fact, even this video is made with love. With love, with love, love, love. with its pros and cons for video editing. Slightly later, I think it was 2017, I heard of the term Fantasy Console. It refers to retro-style game-making programs with hard limitations on code and sprites and such. You might have heard of Pico 8, but I became more interested in the free and open source TIC80. TIC80 was still at version 0.30 back then, when I made the first Raycasted game for the console, Sunray Valley. It still holds up, I think, having about 2 hours of content. <laughs> My friend Borb joked that I'll still be using Love and Tick 80 when I'm 80 years old. I think that holds true, actually. It's not just the frameworks that I'm comfortable with, I also feel like I belong to their respective communities. And now we're back to where we left off. Very Softwares is thriving, with dozens of Love and Tick 80 games available. I enjoy about 150 followers and the occasional money from donations. It doesn't pay the rent, but even coffee money makes me feel like a more legitimate developer. Speaking of, you'll notice that the games on my itch page are sorted by their suggested donation amount. 
The 4 Euro games are my most showcase worthy project, but there's good stuff in the bar game bins too. Just pick something that catches your eye. To wrap this video up with some actual gameplay, let's take a look at the hot picks at the top of my itch page. These are three top quality games that demonstrate the variety of very softwares. Multiple Maze is a room-based platformer where the main mechanic is as follows. Once you've collected all gems in a room, you can move that room. This allows for creative puzzle platformer gameplay, which is explored in three distinct areas. A fourth area is currently in development. The game enjoyed a little speedrunning scene, culminating in J-Root completing the game in a whopping 3 minutes 30 seconds, using clever routing and good execution of platforming. For reference on how crazy that is, a new player will take about 45 minutes to clear the game. Next up is Patch 3, which is a match 3 game with a twist. Your goal, as usual with these games, is to match 3 jellies of the same color by swapping them. But in Patch 3, you program 3 to 7 swaps beforehand and then execute them. It's actually really fun to watch the chaos ensue, and it's satisfying to get long combos. This game is all about combos, you gain or lose lives based on how well your longest combo did compared to the required combo. Finally, here's 3 Butterfly Exe, a bullet hell inspired by Toho 15, with a similar checkpoint system. It's the third entry in the Butterfly Exe series, and this time the gimmick is that your shots cancel enemy bullets. You'll also notice that the stages are synced to the music, as with Toho games. The game can get pretty challenging at times, but with enough patience, you should be able to complete all four stages. I made sure that there's lots of variety in the bullet patterns. Check out this rotating cube attack from the third boss, which is a fan favorite. And that's about it from me. Stay tuned for future videos on very softwares games on this channel. Thanks for watching all the way, and when you have the time, go peruse some of my games at verysoftwares.itch.io.